So over the last few years, I've been developing my EDC and as I've got a 3D printer, I really wanted to customize it quite heavily. So I'm gonna show you some of the 3D printed phone cases I've done over the last couple of years. This one's a bit battered now as it's for my old Android phone from about two years ago. Um, but this case was all built around this little Bluetooth shutter um, that's embedded inside of the case. The idea was this was I wanted to use it a bit more like a point and shoot camera and having the sh shutter on the front really helps with that. The grip style as well also is supposed to mimic a DSLR grip. If you open the case up, the whole front swings out and this turns into quite a comfortable stabilizer for uh, steady shots and things like that. And you can still access the remote shutter uh, on the handle so you don't have to fiddle around with the screen while you're doing it. If you open this out once more, the base turns into a little mini tripod. And this is great for uh, kind of time lapses and selfies and things like that. Inside the legs, there was a little bit of space, so I've put a little USB stick in one of them. Um, this one's great because it's got USB on one side, which actually connects to the phone, essentially doubling my storage capacity. And then the other side is a standard USB, so I can easily transfer files from my phone directly to my laptop. The fact that it's always on me as well really helps with not forgetting it in a tech bag. The other foot has this shutter which I showed earlier and this is detachable so you can set up your shot and then remotely trigger it using the shutter. This uh, shutter actually came from this little uh, selfie stick tripod. This has served me well over the years but unfortunately in the last video I broke one of the legs on it um, so it's going to be soon retired. I've uh, customised this quite a bit with this little 3D printed head. I've created all these little adapters so that you can switch them in and switch them out for different mounting options. Uh, the hole for the adapters is also the same size as a cold shoe mount, so you can attach standard camera equipment to it with cold shoes. Um, if you want to attach the phone to this, you just add in this little ad adapter, and as you can see on the phone, there's also cold shoe mounts built into the case. So with a quick click, the case can attach and detach and it's actually surprisingly stable. Speaking of stability, I was also really surprised by how well the tripod could hold up the phone as well as external um, equipment such as the mic and this small USB rechargeable light. This system has worked really well over the years but as my EDC is developing, I want to kind of slim down and not carry a wallet around with me. So for my next design, I try to integrate these features into a slimmer case that also acts as a wallet. So to incorporate a wallet, I created this new case, which has this fan out wallet attachment. This allows me to carry three standard size cards, which is what I usually carry with me and one slightly thicker metal multi-tool card. This multi-tool card uh, allows me to magnetize this to magnetic stands, which is really useful in the car. And this specific multi-tool has a screwdriver attachment, which is great because it allows me to tighten or loosen the hinge. This is needed because when you fully open this out, the cards actually turn into a tripod this tripod's a lot more stable than the previous one as it's slightly more centralized on the phone and there's a much greater surface area touching the ground. It's also got a lot better range of motion so you can get a lot more dynamic shots. I uh, kept the cold shoes on this design um, and I've also added uh, a quarter inch screw thread so that I can attach to more camera equipment. One suggestion that a friend of mine had was to add lightning holes to the case this has actually worked out really well and it's ended up being one of my favorite attachments as I can put this around my head and then use it to stabilize the camera like you would a standard DSLR camera. The other bonus is I tend to lose my phone quite a bit. So if I disconnect one, I can attach this to my keys or my uh, trousers and it acts as a small tether. As it stands, I'm really happy with this design um, and I've got a new phone now. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to print a new case and show you guys how to assemble it. I'm also going to release the files for the wallet case as this is just attached with double sided sticky tape to the case and you could technically attach this to any phone or any case. So if you want to see how that's uh, all put together, stick around.
enjoyed this video um, like I said earlier I'm gonna be releasing all these files on Thingiverse so along with this video and the instructions with the files you should be well on your way to create your own uh, little 3d printed wallet case uh, all the links will be in the description below if you do end up printing one of these cases um, let me know via Instagram this project's been like a couple of years in the making testing out what works and refining it all on my own so it'll be really cool to see what you guys think about it um, I'm also going to be releasing the step files for the models, so if you want to have a go modifying them or improving them in any way, um, I can't wait to see what the community does with it. Also, bonus points if you can work out why my case now has this rather dashing moustache. Leave your ideas in the comments below. Um, I'm currently designing the stuff for my next project, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. But yeah, until then, remember to stay creative and uh, have a great week.